Despite Kathleen Kennedy recently claiming that the Lando series is still in development and is still happening, the series' writer said that he hasn't received an update since 2020. What's going on over there at Lucasfilm? Is this the standard modus operandi for Kathleen Kennedy basically trying to sell the audience, the viewing public, that they're doing all of these kinds of things and actually nothing is happening? She's still saying the Ryan Johnson trilogy is happening. Absolutely zero movement from that since 2017. But let's get into this here. Speaking with IGN, we're going to remind you about what Kathleen Kennedy had to say. Uh, about the Lando series and Star Wars Celebration. She was speaking with IGN at Star Wars Celebration 2023 in April. Uh, and she was asked, Donald Glover recently talked about the Lando series. Can you give us any update on that? Is it still happening? She said, it's still happening, and he's very excited about it. She did not provide any other details, but she said it was happening, right? Key, key thing there, it is happening. Well, despite this claim, the show's writer, Justin Simeon, who also happens to be the director for the upcoming Haunted Mansion film from the Walt Disney Company, informed the direct... He has not heard word about the series since 2020. This is what he had to say. He said, I certainly poured my heart and spent a lot of time working with them to put together a really great show. It feels like everybody loves it. And, you know, I was told we had to put a pause on it because of scheduling. And the next update I got was in 2020, some years ago. So I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with it. So this is the typical... Um, excuse that Kennedy gives when uh, for like Ryan Johnson, those scheduling issues, he's busy doing his knives out, things like that. He doesn't have time for Star Wars anymore. Uh, like <laughs> That's the excuse that she gives. That's the, that's what he's being told that they used on him, the writer. That there's scheduling problems. They can't get the Lando uh, movie going forward and they haven't been for three years. Scheduling problems for three years. Okay. Okay, sure. I think it's probably the fact that you want people to believe that this is happening and it's pretty much not happening and it's been killed, just like the Ryan Johnson trilogy, just like Rogue Squadron. We are never seeing those movies. I don't even think we're going to see the Taika Waititi movie. Uh, I, I, if I, I think that we might not even see the Ray movie. That does seem to have had some work being done out with Damon Lindelhoff writing uh, a rough draft of a script before uh, uh, basically stepping away, getting the boot, um, depending on who you listen to, and then obviously bringing in uh, the new director, Charmaine, I forget her name, Charmaine Obey or something like that, I can't remember. But uh, bringing her in and putting her up on the stage, bringing Daisy Ridley and putting her up on the stage and announcing the film. I think the only one that might actually get made is the Mandalorian one with Dave Filoni because they actually do seem to be making things with him like the Mandalorian and Ahsoka and Skeleton Crew and stuff like that. There does seem to be some forward progress with that. And then I will be surprised if the James Mangold thing gets made after the absolute debacle of Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny at the box office. So, uh, and just kind of give you an idea that this was, this show was announced at the Disney Investor Day 2020 presentation by Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, she said Lando Calrissian is the galaxy's smoothest, most notorious scoundrel, and he will return in a brand new event series for Disney+. Plus. Justin Simeon, the creator of the critically acclaimed and hugely popular Dear White People, is developing the story with us now. A massive Star Wars fan himself, Justin has put together a reel to give you a sense of the style, tone, and irresistible swagger of our upcoming series. Um, we, we never got to see the reel that was only shown to, uh, to investors. It was not made available to the public. And then uh, there's, there's been rumors about this show going back as far as 2019. Uh, one of the most recent ones was from Mikey Sutton at Geekosity. Shout out to Mikey Sutton. He said, uh, the Lando program will apparently open in the present time shortly after the events of The Rise of Skywalker. The show will move forward back and forth between interconnected stories with the contemporary Lando and his daughter, J uh, Jaina, uh, who was introduced in Rise of the Skywalker. Uh, those segments will cut to the past with Glover and possibly Luke Skywalker and Sebastian Stan is being courted to play him. Uh, that's probably not the case anymore as we know that they're doing all the de-aging and stuff like that and they have like a stunt double with the Mandalorian and everything. Uh, as for what role Billy D. Williams might have, Sutton revealed it's unclear at this point. However, he speculated he might just be in the beginning and, and at the end with Glover carrying most of it. But uh, it looked like it was going to be going back and forth um, with kind of like different uh, different interconnected stories and things like that. So kind of giving in a day of what the show, how the show is being set up. But uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like we're going to see the show anytime soon, just by Kathleen Kennedy saying it's still in the works because the writer literally has not heard word back since 2020. Uh, almost, it could be three years or more than three years ago, depending on when in 2020 he heard back. Uh, but uh, this is just the state of Star Wars, constant chaos.